Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin, this is Do It For Bruce, we're here in CK3 once more with another time lapse for you. This idea is brought to you by our friend K Square. He says, make theocratic empires with spiritual heads of faith being landed with an empire and then also make Islamic head of faith title spiritual but landed. Uh, so we have gone ahead and done that uh, temporal head. Uh, so that's been done with all the Islamic faiths. And uh, we have 15 combatants of re different sizes, so we'll see how well these different boys do. Culture ha is still a jumbled mess. I didn't go uh, change anything there. I only really messed around with the different faiths and stuff like that. So let's get down to some predictions. Catholicism will be the most prolific uh, faith on the planet. After that, I think out of our 15 representatives, only maybe let's say let's say four of them will still have an emperor tier title only four have an emperor tier title uh my guess for that is that it comes from what happened with our republics uh the game is currently not set up to support theocracy ace so a lot of the what's going to happen right now is that we've given majority of the uh, land to a to the leaders so that they can devil them out themselves but what's going to happen is they're given to a bunch of feudal lords and those feudal lords are going to go on to then uh try to consolidate power within their own region and then it probably eventually usurp uh this imperial church uh title because the only title that they can't take is like the holy the, the they can't take this papacy title and same for they can't take the Bori High Council. When you see, hear the words Imperial Church, I get a lot of 40K vibes going on. And my third and final one is that the ecumenist patriarchy will be the most powerful. That done, let us see who of these 15 survive, who will pro prosper and uh, who will be the winner. So I'll see you in a bit after the time lapse.
All right, here we are in the post, and things have, uh, let's just say things have fallen apart. Look around a lot of, we still see some of the titles that we initially saw, but most of them, I guess, are no longer under the control of our boys. Uh, like I was saying, they're gonna lose the authority to their feudal vassals. So let's look around and see who still live, is in existence. So this Coptic papacy is a feudal system, uh, empire of, uh, Bori feudal. Uh, the papacy has gone feudal. Feudal. Okay, so it looks like n so far none of our boys who started out um, have stayed in their. Uh, yeah, in power was the Imperial Church of the Orthodox. Uh, they've done a pretty decent job of doing that. And let's see if Rome still is under control. Yeah, it looks like the Holy Roman Emperor is now the Pope for, for whatever reason they've they decided to reform that so it's been like quite a bit of time so it was 1376 so a little less than a hundred years ago the first Imperial King was installed two three so it seems like usually these these titles were pretty usurped pretty quickly I would feel it feels like they didn't last very long from yeah this guy yeah it looks like maybe a couple no this added a couple more inheritance and then this guy get installed let's look at faith and it looks like from just eyeballing it uh orthodox uh shavit is one of the more prolific religions but let's look at the numbers and see what's what's good oh wow just by 27 counties the catholicism has outperformed this hindu faith and then it's Orthodox Bori and Asatru. Uh, Bori's somehow getting spots here and there. I don't know uh, how that's happening. The king, the somehow the emperor of this has somehow become a Bori boy. And then let's move on to culture and see where our big, big things are. Looks like Butri Hausa, a lot of Hausa, different Nubians, not really moved Somali. Uh, that's not a big change. What did I see that I thought was interesting? Like Hungarian, this, like Hungarian Zekrozizim, which is, I'm not sure where this comes from. Maybe some, what is Zekrozizim? Is it diverged from Polish? Okay, that's why. Norse, Norwego, Anglo, Saxon. Uh, that seems like a combination of Norwegian, Welsh, and Anglo-Saxon. A lot of it's it's interesting to see that the border gore of the of the normal map is even more more intense when it comes to culture because it's just like no, it's like normal map and then border gore culture. But I guess that's culture's messy like that. There's no such thing as a homogenous culture anywhere on the world. Next, let's look at the language so we have greek uh here in the south we have arabic not actually winning out italian vulgar uh norse greek it seems like greek and telug are the two most uh spoken let's look at the empire and see if it looks like a lot of the empire borders didn't change too much they seem to have stayed pretty much how i created them uh nothing has really popped out i guess hispania is back let's look at our predictions so first was that most prolific religion will be catholicism after that i said there would be four titles remaining in a papacy's hands at an emperor tier and i think there's only two i think it's the only those two everything has reverted back to being a feudal or clan even some tribal uh left of the military actually he's the most he's one of the more stronger empires on on this uh, list, which is really surprising. Maybe because he owns Constantinople and all these lush lands. That's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.